Yo, what's going on everybody? It's David Brodeur, aka Brilly, and today I'm excited to show you my quick tip of how I achieved this bokeh effect right here. Now this specific bokeh effect, you know, with this halo, with the hollowed out inside, it's kind of a holy grail for photographers to get. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get here with Octane Render. So let's jump right inside of Cinema 4D and Octane Render here today. And I have a very, very basic scene set up of just a cloner object with some spheres in it with a specular material. Nothing complex about this at all and HDRI. The whole image is out of focus because this is really just about how you can control this depth of field. Now I did turn off autofocus because I do want the whole thing out of focus for this and I increased the aperture to a pretty crazy number here. So we can just really look at that bokeh effect. Now instantly we get beautiful bokeh, right? And you can see here if I slide that down, what this frame actually looks like behind it. A couple of the features that we wanna look at are the aperture edge, and the aperture roundness. That is pretty much all we're gonna have to do to achieve that look that I just showed you. So we're gonna increase the aperture edge. It has a max of three. And now you can see instantly we have that kind of really cool halo look to it. And then the aperture roundness will now get us so we can see the blade count very clearly because right now we're seeing very circular bokeh shapes, which is still super awesome, right? That's a dope look just by itself. But then you can play around with this a little bit more by turning this aperture roundness down. And now you can see that now we have a six sided shape. So if I were to change the blade count from six, two, three, now you're going to see we have a kind of triangular shape bokeh. And so, you know, again, if we increase that aperture around this, you're going to see that that is going to kind of disappear here. And so if you want to get more of those geometric shapes within your bokeh, that is all you have to do. So let me just bring this blade count back to six. Another feature that I really like is this aperture aspect ratio. And the default is set to one. And if you go below a value of one, it's going to begin to stretch it horizontally here. And if you go above a value of one, it's going to stretch it vertically. Vertically. This can give you some cool looks too. It can look a little bit goofy sometimes if you stretch it too much, but again, it really just goes for the style that you're going for. But I noticed in little tasteful increments, it can really add a little something extra that you don't see in a lot of artist 3D work as much. And then your art can kind of stand out yet again. And that's it, everybody. Thanks for hanging out and watching today's quick tip on creating cooler bokeh effects inside of Octane Render.